Welcome back. Hey. I'm so glad you're here. Last time we picked up a good chunk of hard drives and made the realization that we could easily complete tier seven if we just spent a few tickets. We did that. But we did leave three hard drives behind. And there's actually a hard drive right here that we can't get as well because it takes turbo motors. But we did get the high speed connectors and the smokeless powder necessary to pick up these three. So, oh wait, this one takes black powder. Have that as well two high-speed connectors and four computers. So we're gonna get at least those three. We're also gonna search around for a few more. But I wanna try something different. I'm only gonna, you're only gonna see the results of the hard drive research. You won't have to follow me to uh, every single location. And there is a hard drive up there that I can't remember if I've already picked it up. This one takes turbo motors, which I can't get right now. So that's a whole different problem. Uh, so yeah, this uh, power tower over here is supposed to be the, it's the big power tower, right? Five by five. It's 24 storage per level. But I haven't really committed to that yet. I think I put in like, I don't know. I've got 24,000 worth of power storage, so it's a good chunk. But, and obviously I'm in a highly radioactive area right now. We're going to see if this is a hard drive that I've already picked up. Hmm. Wow. A little bit of a... Uh... Looks like I already picked that one up. Should at least be beeping by now. Yeah, I've already picked that one up. All right, so the plan for this video is I'm going to go around, pick up three or four hard drives. Um which for you will seem instant. Oh, geez, Louise. Um, and then I'm going to come back to the base and I'm going to add some additional, additional awesome sinks to our base. Just to let the base loosen up a little bit. We've got four buffers, buses, worth of stuff. And uh, it's unnecessarily just sitting there idle when we could be generating tickets from it. Holy moly. It's a violent little area. I want to find at least one hard drive and then I'll start cutting it so i don't know i don't know if people like the exploration videos or uh -oh. i don't know if the people like the exploration videos or if they like just seeing the hard drives open Somewhere in there. Oh, I see it. Is this one I've already hit? Nope. Man, more radiation. Hard to pass up a battery. Thank <laughs> you. 
six radio control units. Jeez, Louise. More stuff I don't have. This just keeps getting worse. I mean, that's a thing I can't even make yet. Though, I probably could spend some tickets to buy it. Can I spend some tickets to buy it? Eh, we'll get that later. Alright, well. Found a new hard drive. I guess that's good. Hmm. We should probably go this way. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Pass. There's a lot of radiation and poison gas in this area. Did I circle back around? I did. Ah, uh, exploration. Seems to be a, a lot of boars around. Hmm, this might be new. one of those dramatic crashes. All right. Happens if it hits here and then it spills out onto the landscape. It spills out into a massive amount of uranium. Good grief. That is going to be highly radioactive. Six turbo motors. Huh. I'm starting to wonder if I'm in a, just kind of in a place that just requires higher level stuff than I have access to. okay. Whenever I find a crash site that I can't access right now, label it and move on. Use the stamping system. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Oh, here we go. AI limiter. 267 power. Uh huh. Hmm. 
Yeah, even the stuff that's fallen around here is higher level. 267 power, huh? Okay, I'm gonna have to build some serious biomass burners to make that work. Let's see, that's five. Each one of these does 30. 267 power. Need nine. Nine of these. I not have enough rods. Oh, I really don't have enough rods. I might not have enough rods in general. Oh my goodness. How far away is the iron? I'm not sure I want to drop that far down for iron. It'll take me four. Let me get back up. Let's go back over to the turbo motors location, then we'll decide. Stuff just spawning in right in front of me. And that is a lot of radioactive material. Ooh, purple power slug. I 
I'm going to run back to base and get the rods that I need. And then I will, you'll rejoin me once we're ready to open that hard drive or start the research on it. So it'll be moments for you, but I'll be right back. Hey, I found a purple power slug right by the area that we were setting up our power to open this pod. Okay, so theoretically we need nine of these. Two more. Higher level power poles suddenly make a lot of sense. Let's see, maybe create some of these, get rid of some of these slugs from our inventory. Then split these. We do need enough solid biomass. Yeah, we need enough biomass in each unit. They don't have to run for very long, but we need some in each of them. Uh-oh. I missed one of these. I hope. Nine times 30. 267 divided by 30. Nine. I must have missed putting material in one of these. All right. Let's take a bit of a broader view here so we can see what's going on. Yeah, that one right there doesn't have power in it. Right there. Sheesh. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to put down a ma'am. Actually, let's put down the mammoth this direction. I 
think it'll make for a better... Definitely it'll make better screenshot material. All right, we're gonna go to the hard drive. We're gonna scan. And we're gonna take a quick... All right. Let's see if we can pull all of this back up. I feel confident though that it's not gonna work. We're gonna give ourselves a little bit of space here. Just in case something decides to. Fill up our inventory. OK, plenty of room. I see mostly wire. I don't see anything particularly cool. So I might leave a little fuel out here. All right, so if I ever get in a situation where I need some extra fuel, I'll have a little depot there. Okay, and then knowing what we now know, we can drop this, remove. All right, I'm gonna head to the next one. I'll see you once the 10 minutes are up for the research of the current hard drive. Be right back. You know, I haven't found another hard drive yet, but I did want to share this little moment with you. I am at this high ground and I just noticed, I think I see a yellow slug there, a blue slug there, and a blue slug right there. And then that's the hard drive that I'm looking for right there. So it's interesting. Let's test this theory. Obviously taking these high grounds and looking around has potential for benefits. That one was correct. Whoa. Okay, this little boar, come on boar, where are you? Breaking news from Earth, widespread chaos and mayhem. World president urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. All right, pick up this slug. Then... I'll head over to this one. All right. I'm going to hit with poison gas, but that's okay. It's 
So that was a quick three slugs or what, four power shards? All because I had that high ground view. Anyway, I'll see you when I get the hard drive. Just kind of a cool moment. I'm actually on my way to the hard drive still. <laughs> but I keep finding a bunch of cool stuff like purple power slugs. And uh, the notification from the ma'am just went off. So I figured this would be a good time to stop and smell the roses as it were. We are really getting some good power shard numbers. Twenty six power shards. It's always nice. All right. Pure aluminum ingots. Well, first of all, it's nice to see these this level of resources or this level of recipes showing up. Loving that. Better aluminum ingots. I know my target. Oh yeah, I already have one of those, but it uses Coke. I don't want to use a Coke one. Sloppy and Illumina. Production rate. Oh, it's twice the production rate but it doesn't make silica as a byproduct. But it uses less resources. Or this one requires silica. Ooh, this is a lot slower of a recipe as well. I think this is the one I should go with. Yeah, this is pretty cool. My silica production's already perfectly fine. All right. I'm gonna keep looking around and collecting stuff and exploration, but we'll see you in 10 minutes, but it should be instant for you. All right. Next one is done. Oh man, that diluted fuel recipe is so good. I should probably get it. Sight unseen. Oh man, that is so good. Add a little bit of water to the heavy oil residue. And it doubles the amount of fuel that gets created. Gotta go with it. We aren't gonna talk about why I don't have any inventory and I'm back at base. Just not gonna talk about that. But I will see you when the next hard drive is done. Kind of a shadowy night. I did find a pod. And we do have a pod that's, or I'm sorry, a hard drive that's ready to go. <laughs> oh boy. 
This is a little bit of a cliff here. Might not even be room for a ma'am. This bio coal, man, I kind of wish it would go away. I don't see myself creating a new motor factory, but electromagnetic control rod, geez. Yeah, that's, that's higher level than I currently make. I think I'm going to go with the steel rods. If I do get in a situation where I need to make more rods, that is a great recipe. All right, see you in a moment. Hey, just discovered or finished research on another hard drive in the midst of a soupy, swampy mycelio craziness. Um, looking at this, probably the opportunity to alter the <laughs> alter the radio control systems probably the way to go increases the complications but it also increases the the speed we'll take that then right here we actually have a hard drive to find spending some of those supercomputers. And we'll start research on another one. I'm gonna have to head home soon. Running out of ammo, running out of everything really. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Hey. We're in this weird, spooky cave. But we did finish another hard drive. These are all kind of bad. We'll take the option for some better concrete. Never know. There's a slug over there, but we are basically out of ammo. Wow. No, oh, no! See, this is why I should not mess around with these things. really missing that much good grief uh 
health. I'm going to do all that. Might as well pick up the slug. All right. We've got one more to pick up and then a couple more to research. So I'll see you in a bit. And we're back, and I'm getting punted by a boar. Let's see. I'm totally out of ammo, by the way. Oh, two boar. Oof. We might need a break here. Let's, uh... Try to stay near the ma'am here. I'll take better can canisters for sure. Drop that hard drive, do another scan. Let's see. There's at least two boar down there. Hell. Oof. Oh. Wow. There's a lot of them. Holy moly. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a thrill and a half. Let's see. Are we close to the other one? I think I just picked that one up. Well, maybe not, though. Oh, I thought I saw a power slug. Let's use the good old scanner. That looks promising. Come on. There we go. Okay. One more and then I'm headed home. So I'll see you in a bit. There are a ton, just an absolute ton of boars around me, but we're going to get this done here. Okay. Classic battery. That one uses Coke, so it's out. Hmm. 
man, they really want me to use Coke. I'm looking at this classic battery. Ooh. That's a lot easier to make. Classic battery is a lot easier to make. I got to go with that. Scanning one more. I am headed back to the base, but just wanted to let you know we did pick up all the stuff that we found over here. There's probably some more, but there's a lot of high end supercomputers, turbo motors, radio control units. There's one right by the base that's something high end like that as well. So we'll see you in 10 minutes. Of course, it'll be no time for you. All right. Just completed another research task and we are home safe and sound. Oh, six inventory slots. Ooh, tempting. Super tempting. Definitely don't want the better plates. We're okay on the plates, I think. I mean, that's like steel and plastic 45 per minute and then we have what do we have here better computer all it takes oh wait we're already making computers though Yeah, I think I got to take the inventory slots. Inventory slots are a hard thing to pass on. I just remade all of my rifle am ammo. And then I think I want to go over and Let's take a peek, if we shall. Let's see here. Um, logistics, smart splitter. We've got 15, but we need some rotors. quick wire and copper sheets. You know what? Before we go on to our next task, <laughs> let's see where we ended up. That was supposed to be a simple effort to go out and collect a few hard drives that we had previously marked on the map. We ended up picking up 10 some odd hard drives and we ended up finding three more that we need to go back out for but really the high-end thing on this was our power shards we made so many power shards we picked up so many slugs we're going to be over 50 power shards from this run. It's an amazing amount of power shards. That's really going to give us some serious flexibility, especially in a situation that we're in now, which is got lots of power. So it's very much okay to overclock. I want to see...
What do I need to get the limiter? I have one. I'm short on quick wire. Quick wire and copper sheets. Did I drop some quick wire at some point? Probably not. We definitely know where the quick wire and the copper sheets are. So to finish this up, we're going to jump out and Uh-oh. Yikes. I'm going to run over here and grab some of this quick wire. Jump back into this. One thought that I've been having is that our lovely bus here is basically backed up because it's full. I'm thinking we probably need to use some awesome sinks. Matter of fact, before we get too far into that, let's see what the awesome sink requirement is. I am happy that we picked up those extra slots. How much time? Five minutes. I'm going to pop over here real quick and make... I want to have 20 smart splitters. I'm going to keep buying aluminum. I know I'm going to have to make it eventually, but we are going to absolutely maximize our recipe options before we do it. And there is one recipe I'm definitely looking for. Okay. With that said. Give ourselves a little zoop. What is this? Compacted coal. My thought is something like out here near the end. Right? Put down a couple of awesome sinks.
And then... Let's do the logistics, which is smart splitter. It's going to take all the spaces. I wanted to do something back here with these. I don't know. All right, let's just do one. Unfortunate part is that this part of it is already sent to a splitter, but it's fully stored now, so I think it's okay to keep spending it to the splitter. I don't know. Those are getting a little they're getting a little comfy. Let's go back. Yeah, see, that's not on the belt. That's on the splitter. So it'd have to be like this. And then like this. Okay, and then we'll just bring this to the ground. Ooh. Hmm, we could have a slight issue, slight. Let's bring you to the ground. And then we'll put down a merger. Let's give ourselves some space, because who knows how we're going to want to do this. Then we'll cut. Did I not build something? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Yes, make myself a little crazy there. All right, so we're merging out towards you. All right, and then we can just whip you right in there, can't we? Like that. And then you. We'll put you in here. And then we'll bring you down to the ground as well. And then we'll merge you. 
in like that. And then I suppose whatever we are doing at some point will likely go down like this. And then the key here, it's like crooked at the last second. We'll do this and then we'll check the other. The uh, other recipe. Man, I am really getting turned around here. Awesome sink here. 90, 180 would be ideal. Use the green line. Connect. Okay. And then over here, just as a, you know, nice little area where we're doing other stuff. We're going to put in a a ma'am. Pure iron. Alternate charcoal. Cheap silica. This is the one I'm most likely to use if, I, if I'm forced to use something like this. Making that quartz go a little further down might be worth it. We have one more hard drive, don't we? We'll leave that there. All right. And then what we're going to do here. I don't know if I like this. But what we want to do here is change these smart splitters to overflow. guy doesn't have power. Uh oh.
Uh oh. We ran out of encased beams. Oof. We also ran out of space. Well, we're supposed to use some of that aluminum anyway, so... We'll use some of that. Minus 15 cool points. So yeah, the thought is, is that we'll use the smart splitter to sink the overflow, which right now it's going to be a ton, an absolute ton of overflow. So why not get some serious credit for it? overshot it a little bit. Do I not give you power? No. I gave you a power line with no power. And then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna look at the logistics, highest of high speed belts. We are going to set all of that to the highest level. Uh oh. I de-upgraded, which I guess is the same as downgraded. Let's see, hopefully, well, yeah, as things get used. So the interesting thing about this Huh. There's all kinds of issues with this.
I wonder if there's a cleaner way to do this. The problem is, is I'm getting the density of th things coming off the belt is much higher. Uh-oh. I want to make sure I set those to overflow and not any. Overflow. I remember that arrow icon, though. Yep. Overflow. 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 Good grief. Yeah. So this way, when I want to build, I'll have 100% of my capacity at my uh, available to me. But when I'm not building, like right now, I'm pulling in tons and tons of tickets. I mean, part of me says, is the answer like one? No, it can't be that. It would have to be like five or six of these condensed down into one line. But I should be getting some pretty good points at this point. Yeah, we're pushing 200,000 a minute. And that's only on the first eight items. Right, and then ideally, as the draw from the main bus gets higher, then we'll just drop the amounts that we're sending to destruction. You know, one thing I could do, if I just wanted to get that whole belt done, could upgrade this belt right here. We're going to have to figure it out. That's definitely something to consider though all right a better frame a better beacon pure iron i just know the beacons aren't doing anything for us I'm going to take the bolted frame. Let's see. Do we get anything on... So we got this... is a faster version we got this which is a slower version three times the alumina but just over three times the scrap. Nothing on the ingots, nothing on the sheets. And we upgraded our casings. Two 
to get to the scrap, we need the alumina. So what we have is a slightly better way to get to the scrap, which is going to be twice as effective. I mean, that's a, that's almost amazing. It's twice as effective for almost half the resources. Two less bauxite, eight less water for the same amount of alumina. And the fact that it doesn't give us any silica is probably okay. And then we would use that plus coal to make this to make the scrap and then we would use the scrap to make the ingots and then finally we would be at a place where we could make this stuff and we would have to consider this alternate recipe okay all right, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I mean, we picked up one recipe for making that process a little easier. We're gonna start picking up some tickets. I'm gonna have to rework this though. I like this idea. I like using the smart splitters. This implementation's not really doing it for me, though. I need to come up with something a little, a little better. Maybe it's like a four level. You know, if I did this on a higher level, I could sneak in the belt behind it. You know what I mean? Oh, look, see, it's working. So we're running low on sulfur and we're running low on coal. But now the quartz is kicking in. Yeah, see, big chunks of quartz. There's a method here that I'm not I'm not seeing right now, but we'll figure it out here shortly. But that well that and I don't know. Where's my number? 54 power shards and eight or nine hard drives later. I'm going to call that a successful run. And then we'll figure out how to collect even more tickets in a future video. Maybe not the next one, but in a future one. When I do a review of our plastic and rubber recycling plant here. But that's definitely a future video. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.